The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Coral Glades takes on Pompano Beach High tonight on School Duel. I'm Lisa Lee, and welcome to School Duel, where 20 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, as you see, things are a little different this year. We will be following COVID-19 guidelines with everyone socially distant and wearing masks throughout the game, including myself. And to further reduce risk, we will not have a tournament this year. Instead, we will have individual games. But that doesn't mean it won't still be fun. Tonight's game features Coral Glades High versus Pompano Beach High in what should be quite a showdown. So what are these students playing for? Well, first off, both teams will win beautiful trophies courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. Both teams will also receive additional prizes from our sponsor, Publix Supermarkets. Thank you, Publix. Now for the runner-up school tonight, each player receives $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. And last but not least, for the winners, while each of these students will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. So let's hear it for these sponsors and prizes. Let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike. And in this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Your first question deals with Shakespeare. What fictional characters were a pair of star-crossed lovers? And yes, Ethan. Romeo and Juliet. Good job. All right, Coral Glades, here we go. Tools, your car is parked on the side of the road with a flat tire. To loosen the nuts on that wheel, you should use what kind of wrench? Yes, Ethan? A lug wrench. Very good. Foods, what popular snack at baseball games was originally referred to as dachshund sausage? Sabrina. Hot dogs. Very good. All right, moving along, angles. What is the complement of a 27 degree angle? Yes, Matthew? 63. Very good. Spelling, meaning take in or soak up as in energy or a liquid, spell absorb. Eduardo? A-B-S-O-R-B. Good. All right, college football. This Indiana school often makes the top 25 and is currently not bound to any conference in football. Name this South. Yes, Notre Matthew? Dame. Notre Dame. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Broward County Schools. Here, our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. The Chinese version of this device uses a horizontal divider to separate its upper beads. Yes, Eduardo? An abacus. Very good, excellent. And here's a little something. The abacus is the most ancient calculating device known. It has endured over time and is still in use in some countries. Let's move on to a question about biomes. Name the biome whose African examples include the Cal Yes, Eduardo? The savanna. Incorrect. Coral glades, Ethan? Desert. Very good. Fast math. What is the sum of the squares of six and seven? Matthew. 125. Incorrect, Coral Glades. Yes, Ethan? 85. Very good. All right, elements. Coming from the Greek word for sun, what gas is used in, yes, Eduardo? Helium. Very good. Powers, give the three word term for the concept that includes separation of powers and prevents any branch of the, yes, Ethan? Checks and balances. Good job. U.S. history. This building honors an 1836 battle some 80 miles southwest of Austin, Texas. Yes, Matthew? The Alamo. Yes, good job. Illness 
says, what type of virus first noticed in Wuhan, China, almost caused school duel to be canceled? Yes, Ethan? Coronavirus. COVID. Yes. Basketball. John dribbled down the court. He paused, grasped the ball with both hands, and then dribbled farther. Ethan? Double dribble. Very good. Cycles. Oh, that horn means the end to the first strike round. We do have Coral Glades leading. They have 80 points. Pompano Beach has 60 points. But we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. I felt so strongly for the healthcare workers. I just wanted to help them any way I could. On the Chick-fil-A app, you can collect points. So I started asking people in our community to donate theirs, and it just grew and grew and grew. Rachel came to me and said, how can I get them redeemed? She had it all prepared and done. We delivered over 1,000 sandwiches to local hospitals. Danica had written on every individual little bag words of encouragement and support. That was just going above and beyond. We work very well together. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making the School Duel possible. The first round of action ended with Coral Glades leading. They have 80 points. And Pompano Beach, not too far behind, they have 60. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. And let's start with the Coral Glades Jaguars. Welcome. Yeah. We'll start with Ethan, who's a senior. And the question today is, is there a career field or career choice you'd like to go into? I know I want to do something in finance. Very nice. All right. Darwin, you're a senior. Same question for you. Uh, I'd probably go into some the engineering field. All right, lovely. And the captain of the Coral Glades team is Sabrina, who's a senior. What career field are you looking going into? I'm looking towards um, studying actuarial science. All right, lovely. Now let's meet the Pompano Beach Tornadoes. Welcome. Yeah. We'll start with Jordan, who's a senior. Same question to you. Is there a career field you're thinking of going into, Jordan? I want to do international patent law in the future. All right, lovely. Eduardo, you're a senior. Same question. Yeah, I'm looking into going into biochemistry. All right, and the captain of Pompano Beach's team is Matthew, who's a senior. The floor is yours. I want to go into computer science or computer engineering. All right, let's hear it for both schools. Okay, now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the joust, which is presented by public supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. Now, normally, we would have the players come to the joust desk to compete, but this year, players will stay at the podium. Our first players competing will be our captains, Sabrina and Matthew. Here's your toss-up question, worth 10 points. What musical term is used for a note lasting only one count in four? Yes, Sabrina? Quarter note. Very good. All right, Coral Glades, the following bonus questions deal with musical terms. Bonus question number one. What musical term is for a set of notes ordered by pitch from lowest to highest in whole steps? Yes, Ethan? Scale. Very good. Bonus question number two. Name for the stick you play a xylophone or marimba with. Yes, Sabrina? Mallet. Excellent. Bonus question number three. What musical term is used for a three-note chord where each note is a third above the one below? Yes, Sabrina? Triad. Excellent. Good job. All right, our next two, Darwin and Eduardo. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Frank Lloyd Wright designed this New York City landmark. Yes, Eduardo? The Empire State Building. Incorrect. 
All right, Darwin, this question is yours. Frank Lloyd Wright designed this New York City landmark to replace the former museum of non-objective painting. Identify this iconic Fifth Avenue Museum, which houses the art collection of its wealthy American namesake. Yes, Darwin. Uh, the Museum of, of Art. Incorrect, it's the Guggenheim Museum. I have another question for Eduardo and Darwin. Frank Lloyd Wright's Guggenheim Museum is on what New York Island? Darwin? Uh, Fifth Ave. Incorrect, Eduardo? Staten Island. Incorrect, the answer is Manhattan Island. All right, my last two are Ethan and Jordan. Here's your toss-up question, and it's worth 10 points. When excluding its capital city, St. Petersburg is the largest city by population. Russia. Ethan? Oh, Russia. Very good. All right, Coral Glades, in the following bonus questions, name the European countries where these cities are the largest by population but are not the capital. Bonus question number one. When excluding its capital city, Milan, is the largest city by, Ethan? Italy. Very good. Bonus question number two. When excluding its capital city, Hamburg is the largest city by population, Ethan? Germany. Yes. And bonus question number three. When excluding its capital city, Kharkiv is the largest city by population of what European country? Yes, Darwin? Ukraine. Very good. Excellent. All right, that buzzer means the end to the jowls. We do have Coral Glades leading with 160 points. Pompano Beach has 60 points. But don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Three, focus, and go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. The Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. local high schools match wits to see who will be today's champion. Now today's game has Coral Glades High competing against Pompano Beach High. Currently Coral Glades is leading with 160 points. Pompano Beach has 60 points. It is now time for the rapid action round and during this round each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Now since Pompano Beach is trailing 
they get to go first while Coral Glades waits outside the studio for their turn with the same question. Today's category is starts with T as in tango. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter T as in tango. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. All right, here comes rapid action. Pompano Beach, we're gonna cue music and we are going to begin. A gratuity given to a restaurant waiter. Matthew. Tip. A fine men's suit often worn for his wedding. Matthew. Tuxedo. Square root of 100. Eduardo. 10. The part of your leg between the hip and the knee. Eduardo. The tibia. Axe used by Native Americans. Eduardo. Tomahawk. Term indicating someone absent from school without permission. Matthew. Truant. Nemesis of Sylvester the Cat. Matthew. Tom. Type of verb that requires a direct object. Familiar symbol of drama is a pair of masks, one for comedy and one for what? Jordan. Tragedy. Shawnee Indian chief killed at 1813 Battle of the Thames. All right, good job, Pompano Beach. We got through all of your questions. And now with a little TV magic, let's bring in Coral Glades High. All right, welcome back, Coral Glades. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is, starts with T as in tango. And in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter T as in tango. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's cue music and let's begin. A gratuity given to a restaurant waiter. Ethan. Tip. A fine men's suit often worn for his wedding. Darwin. Tuxedo. Square root of a hundred. Sabrina. Ten. The part of your leg between the hip and the knee. Sabrina. Thigh. Axe used by Native Americans. Ethan. Tomahawk. Term indicating someone absent from school without permission. Ethan. Tardy. Nemesis of Sylvester the Cat. Type of verb that requires a direct object. Familiar symbol of drama is a pair of masks, one for comedy and one for Ethan. Tragedy. Shawnee Indian chief killed at 1813 Battle of the Thames. Yes, Ethan? Tecumseh. All right, good job to both schools. You both got through all of your questions. You only missed two. The nemesis of Sylvester the Cat is Tweety Bird. And the type of verb that requires a direct object is a transitive. All right, that ends the rapid action round. We have Coral Glades leading with 230 points. Pompano Beach has 120 points. But we're going to take a short break, and then we will be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game. <laughs> kid's birthday you want them to feel like the only kid in the world but this year it made it really difficult to have a birthday party my mom took me to chick-fil-a chick-fil-a just goes above and beyond i knew that they would make it special there was like a little note for a mobile order that said can you please sing happy birthday happy they sung birthday. happy birthday to me and i cried she was in fact happy <laughs> <laughs> we got you something nova what is that a cookie thank you oops <laughs> Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible.
school duel. We've got a good game going as Coral Glades is holding on to their lead over Pompano Beach. Our current scores, 230 to 120. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Our schools go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are worth 20 points. Just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Now this is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with Texas. In 1836, Texas seceded from what country? Ethan? Mexico. Planets, the great red spot is on which planet? Jordan. Jupiter. Parks, the ecology of what national park is beginning to be disrupted by the presence of large exotic pythons? Matthew. Yellowstone. Incorrect, um, Ethan. The Everglades. Fables, it really does not pay to pretend to be what you are not. Is the moral in an Aesop fable about a wolf wearing what kind of clothing, Jordan? Sheep's clothing. Pop music, the Ariana Grande song, Seven Rings, includes the melody from the show tune, Ethan? My favorite things. Incorrect, Pompano Beach, the Ariana Grande song, Seven Rings, includes the melody from the show tune, My Favorite Things, featured in what musical and movie? Jordan. The Sound of Music. Measurements, how many millimeters are in one centimeter? Yes, Eduardo? It's 10. Wars, the Korean War began in what year? Five years after the end of World War II. Matthew? 1950. Nicknames, what nickname for a native of Oklahoma also describes an athlete? Yes, Ethan? Sooner. Geography, how many foreign nations are touched by the borders of the US? Ethan? Two. Protests. In 1930, Mahatma Gandhi led a 240-mile march to protest the British tax on what common substance? Ethan. Tea. Incorrect, Pompano. Eduardo. Cotton. Incorrect, it's salt. Everyday math. What is the total cost of two bananas at 10 cents each and one dozen carrots at 40 cents per dozen? Matthew. 60 cents. Apps. Developed in China, what social app allows users to create? Matthew. TikTok. Spelling. This punctuation mark appears in the contractions don't and can't. Yes, Eduardo? A P O S T R O P H E. Correct. Asia, the capital of what nation is adjacent to Manila Bay? Eduardo. The Philippines. Beginnings. The tennis court oath is identified by many as the beginning of what historical event that included the storming Doran? French Revolution. Settings. What river is the setting for Huckleberry Finn's adventure? Yes, Jordan? The Mississippi River. Actors. Generally known for his comedy, this actor and comedian gained critical acclaim for his dramatic role as Howard Ratner in Uncut Gems. Eduardo. Adam Sandler. Companies. Begun by two Stanford students, what tech giant with internal model Don't Be Evil has a name that is now Eduardo? Google. Crops. Types of this crop include sweet and dent. What food, Ethan? Corn. Novels, name the British novel featuring the unseen character Big Brother. Ethan. 1984. Oh, that sound brings an end to this school duel game. What a close game. Coral Glades is winning at 370 points. Pompano Beach right behind them with 360 points. But congratulations to Coral Glades. Congratulations on your South Florida Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. And great job to everyone. So let's hear it for both schools. <laughs> Whew, that was exciting. And at this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible and for you at home for watching. Now, don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved and watch past shows. Please remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. And most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as MacArthur High takes on Everglades High in another great game. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching.
School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.